gentlemen, welcome to Carbon. What's going on, Mark? Don't mind the FedEx truck pulling in. You can see some real time carbon product going out the door. <laughs> That's right. If you guys, by the way, have ever seen a uh, YouTube video of a carbon install, over here, Carvin, that's Ryan right here. This is me right here? Yeah, this is you, big dog. That's it right there. Dang. Yeah, man. Now that looks like we're saving a lot of weight on from the factory muffler to this guy right here. Yeah, so what comes OEM, what we call suitcase muffler. Those are typically Sounds somewhere right. between like 30 and 50 pounds, depending on the manufacturer. I think we're somewhere 27 pounds shipped with a tip. Tip's probably about four pounds. We're probably around like 23 pounds. All I can say is it looks like we're saving a lot. So we have Ooh. a polished tip here. We can kind of demo for you. That's a five inch tip right there? Yeah, so it's a five inch oh outlet. Oh my gosh. With a four and a half inch inlet, inlet. on the uh, uh, Dang, both sides. All the everything's welded up. You can see we try to manufacture it like with ease of uh, install in mind. I know we got to do a little modification tiers to get you the five inch tip that you're looking for. So you but have I've... the TRD exhaust. It's a dual exit. The standard exhaust comes with basically, it almost looks like one of these. So do you see how there's a step up? in the exhaust in the tubing itself right here. Yep. The standard single exit for the Tundra comes with a step on the exhaust tubing itself. And sometimes there's a tolerance. You might have to shim it with a, a washer or two and nothing crazy. It's just one of those things, factory exhausts, they have a lot more room for air than mm. we typically manufacture, ma manufacture for. And it's not even on purpose. The equipment we use is almost like too precise. This is an automatic roller. It will pick up one of the sheets basically bring it on over here and then this is your end result is a, a seam welded uh muffler body the proprietary design that makes carbon sound like carbon uh goes in we have different mufflers and different cat back kits obviously have different components from the small body i just showed you to the giant one that comes i mean we call it the xl muffler that's in the 22 cat back what i'm doing is a cut and clamp yes and we get a much smaller muffler with that let's go over why i'm sure your followers will love I'm this sure they're wondering the cut and clamp you retain your your factory resonator you're right. just replacing the muffler section alone so when you have a muffler working in compound with the resonator you're getting a two for one out of that exhaust right on one piece of tubing you have two components that are combating the two necessary evils mm -hmm. of exhaust right is yep. the sound and the drum with our full cat back kit we don't produce a resonator in it there's no extra resonator in the back near the tailpipe so we've doubled almost tripled the size of the muffler to make sure that we have optimum flow, you get the most performance out of that, but you're not dying with drone, drone. Yeah. or anything like that. The cat back hit's a little more aggressive, but I'm anxious to see your reaction to just the cut and clamp because it's so not, my dude. It's, it's not it's... far off. It's still, <laughs> dude, it's from, what I've, from what I've seen on video so far online, this is aggressive. Your FJ Cruiser follower, that's the kit on the FJ. Oh my gosh. Nobody makes an FJ sound like no, nope, yeah. I haven't seen it. Oh my gosh. It literally is almost like- That's a massive difference. Okay, so as far as the oh, the factory setup goes, we have this like Y pipe deal going on, right? Flip if you don't have on. the TRD yeah, exhaust system on it, then you can just slip it on. You can just slip it on and bolt it Super on. Super easy. Done. On the TRD Pro, it has a, a Y pipe coming from that hanger right back there by the spare tire. Otherwise, yeah. if you guys have anything else, you can slip that tip on and then bolt it down, you guys are good to go. If you have the proper tools and like a friend or two to help you, it'll probably take you 30 minutes to an hour and then you're done. I understand the difference between like a Hemi or a 5.7 Tundra versus what we're dealing with now. I just feel like we've done the best to create like the deepest, basiest growl. It's not gonna be with What you guys VA. have to work with. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, it sounds that great. That sounds dude. great, dude. Like That's impressive. Yeah, I was going to say the same like thing. It sounds like a wrap. Yeah. Oh my gosh. On an EcoBoost. That's impressive. guys let's get right to it here's everything that comes in the cut and clamp kit from carbon for the new tundras have the muffler right here 
uh, the gasket, some hardware, and the tip right here. It comes in a polished finish and a black Cerakote finish, but unfortunately I can't run that on my setup right here because I have the TRD exhaust. Um, which wise out into two smaller tips. If I had the single exit, I'd be good to go, but this is the uh, the dual tip, which that would not work for, obviously. So I need to either swap with someone that has the single exit or have an exhaust shop, chop it off, and then throw a, uh, or weld on a single exit pipe. Let me show you guys what we're replacing right now. So that is the muffler right now in the truck. Oh my gosh, that thing is massive, dude, wow. And uh, yeah, we're swapping it for the muffler from carbon right there. So what we're gonna do is cut it an inch and a quarter uh, from the muffler here, right there on the pipe. And then on the other side is a flange with some hardware, which we'll disconnect right at that point. And then on the new one, we have a clamp right here. We'll clamp it onto uh, where we cut it, throw the hangers in, and then the new hardware, the new gasket. And that's pretty much it for the, uh, the muffler swap. All right, inch and a quarter measured right there. Let's cut it. Okay, let's pull it off the hanger, nice and easy. And there's two hangers here on the front side. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to say much. That's, that's a massive difference. This entire thing is a muffler and replacing it with that muffler right there. Remove the grommets off the, uh, the OE system, put it on the new one here. I'm reusing the factory nuts that came off of the factory exhaust system and then using the new hardware to feed it through the new flange and the gasket that came in the kit too. Throw that in as well. All right, so first thing I want to do is get it on these hangers. That way it's stable. Wow, this thing is so much lighter. Get this guy up. Oh man. I'll tell you what, man. I'm trying to film stuff while you're working on stuff. It's always kind of tricky. All right, it's so got the two pipes clamped together. I'm supporting with my knee right now. It may not look pretty, but we're getting it done. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw the rear together and uh, got the gasket here. Throw the gasket on there and then put the two pipes together. Okay, bolt and nuts. I'm gonna tighten down each side of the flange little by little. Make sure everything's nice and even. what sound truly sounds like through camera because a lot of what you're missing out on is the lows that super deep throaty sound from this exhaust is what you guys don't hear you guys just hear the high frequency part um, but there's way more to it than that there is a very very throaty rumble to this exhaust which sounds incredible in person there we go again we're in we're in ninja mode now we've entered the parking lot and now we're in ninja mode always filming bringing the goods bringing the goods there you go special bag just for you yes sir yeah. deal's a deal Derek came through what's your uh, what's your order uh, a little single patty no double got the squad rolling in oh it's a light show now Do you have a couple of uh, performance modifications done here? I do. I have AFE's uh, Momentum GT intake, Blade Z uh, charge pipes that drop down in the middle here. I have AFE's Scorcher uh, tuner. Everything all together on a dyno, we're pulling 
uh, upper 500s in torque and high 400s in horsepower. Definitely rowdy. <laughs> fun in the desert. Yeah. More fun in the sand. A bit of heartbreak and a little bit of celebration. <laughs> a little bit of heartbreak. A couple tears. Some hard work, but tears, that's motor. pretty. A motor? <laughs> Are you on a second motor? I'm on a second motor. Oh, shoot. Toyota went through everything. I, nice. to I had it towed to the dealership as it sits. And Toyota Motor Corp looked the other way, said there was no way that they could uh, they could uh, pinpoint that anything that's been done was the cause of the failure. And then gave you a whole new motor. Yep. I brought it home from the dealership, and the first thing we did was put the tuner right back on it the, <laughs> within 10 minutes of it being at home. That's what I'm talking about. Straight back to it. <laughs> I love it. So now we're going to do a comparison between Shane's got the, uh, the Lux, and then Derek has the Novas, both from Alpha Rex. So here's a side-by-side -side of the two. And then Shane has the white DRL, and then Derek went amber. You guys can see there's two projectors on the uh, on the Lux series, and then four on the Novas. It's the main difference right there. So a little side-by-side. -side. I don't know, man, they both look good. I'd take either one, to be honest. They both look good. I will say, going back and after we filmed, watching your video, the four projectors, even in a line, with my Baja lights, like you called out, like just pop. I realize he has the carving exhaust also, the same cut and clamp. But the difference is on a TRD Pro, we don't have the- uh, right. Extra muffler back here, yeah, just to yeah. suppress that sound. So that's the difference on a TRD exhaust and a non-TRD exhaust. But as you guys can see, he has the, uh, the five inch tip on there because he has a single racing. <laughs> now hop in mine and do the same thing. Here's the keys. There you go. major difference dude wow. wow first impression so far it's super deep yeah yeah it's yeah. super it's super throaty oh my goodness you guys that was absolutely absurd here let's hold the windows up it's especially rowdy on the trd pro because of the trd axle back system on the trd pros that come standard um you guys can do that too it removes the resonator on the back side of the exhaust for the flanges meet um from that point on back what i replaced um, up to the flange from the flange on back is the axle back from the TRD axle back So on the TRD Pro comes with the um, the, the resonator deleted pipe So it's a little bit rowdier that is for sure But man, I love it. Let's roll the back window down here Get you to the full experience. Why are we stopping the green light? We got a rip. All right, let's get flames Like a Raptor kind of too. It's a very similar sound to the new Raptor, uh, which I mean, for for what for what this is, let's just make that very clear. The V8s are not existent in the new Tundras, right? So, for what we're given to work with is what I'm talking about. Obviously, V8s compared to V6 with anything done to it takes the cake for sound for quality, right? We know that. But for what it is, dude, it sounds absolutely amazing, dude. Super rowdy, very throaty, very deep sound. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty aggressive setup, that is for sure. And comparing this to my TRD Pro to the non-TRD Pro, both with the carbon cutting clamps, as you guys saw last night, um, the TRD Pro does sound a bit more aggressive, that is for sure. And the main reason for that is because on the TRD Pros, it comes standard with the TRD axle back uh, exhaust here with the dual tip, and it does not have the resonator attached to it. So it's a straight through design from the axle back um, as compared to the standard exhaust, which has a resonator just before the, uh, the tips. Um, so that being said, using the cut and clamp on the TRD Pro with the straight through design, 
uh, TRD exhaust from axle back. It's pretty, it's pretty aggressive. So up here, I chopped off that suitcase of a muffler um, right there and then uh, clamped on the new pipe to the new muffler and then pipe to the flange that meets with the axle back that does not have a, uh, a resonator. So yeah, dude, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty rowdy, but a good rowdy. We like rowdy, that's for sure. And not to say that the non-TRD Pro was not rowdy, it was definitely rowdy, um, just a little bit tamer, keyword, tamer than the TRD Pro set up here with the, uh, the straight through piping from the axle back. So Carvin does have a full cat back system and what that's gonna do is replace everything from the cats on back. You get new tips um, and then bigger piping as well, but also you don't have a, um, a resonator on that system that comes from Carvin. The full cat back does not come with a resonator. Uh, so to counter that, they give you a longer muffler. So that being said, this is not designed, I'd imagine, for the TRD exhaust that does not have the resonator because the tip it comes with um, is fit for the standard exhaust with the resonator. So that being said, I think they designed it mostly for the standard exhaust which has the resonator. So that being said, it's a pretty aggressive setup if you guys are about it. I'm kind of curious too, which one would be more aggressive? The full cap back with the bigger tubing and the longer muffler and then no res or doing the cut and clamp with no res and the smaller muffler with the standard sized tubing. Kind of curious, I have no idea, but I'd imagine this one being louder because I can't imagine it being any louder than this right here, uh, which is pretty, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty loud, that's for sure. But hey, if you're about it, do it to it. I'm about it, it's, it's definitely the move if you ask me. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today. I'm driving up to Las Vegas tomorrow morning. I have to go home and pack right now and get ready for the adventure off to Vegas tomorrow uh, for two reasons, getting some window tint done and a friend's birthday party as well, hitting some pool, day club, and then a nightclub and stuff like that. Uh, but the main reason why I want to go to Vegas is to get my windows tinted because my boy out there owns a tent shop. So he's getting me dialed in on some window tint. Finally, because imagine this, dude. We have wheels and tires, rock sliders, lift, exhaust, bed cover, and then no window tint. Like, that. that's not normally the order you go in, but I guess what we're doing this time around. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to get home right now and uh, get ready for the trip tomorrow and then get the windows dialed in tomorrow and then come home Sunday night. And uh, we have a lot of other things coming up very soon here uh, to get done on the Tundra, so stay tuned for it all. It's not even close to getting started yet. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. That's all I have for you guys for today. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.